Hi guys, I'm Diego Morgado. I had a privilege of playing Jesus Christ in the upcoming movie, Son of God. It's a pleasure to be at Guidepost. It's really important to understand that it's not a role. It's, it's pretty much someone that has life changed the, the world as we know it, and it's pretty much alive for billions around the world. So to do something like that, it's really big shoes to fill. Um, out of fear, obviously, I took it as a, uh, another role. Uh, so I start my research, um, reading everything that I could, seeing everything that I could. But at one point I really stopped because I realized there would be no acting skill that could help me out on, some, on touching people's hearts and, and, and sharing love, which was, I think, the ultimate message of Jesus. So I changed my approach and I, I realized it, would, it had to be something that had to be really personal, spiritual, emotional, and I took it as a personal journey for me. You know, this movie, the wonderful thing about this movie is regardless of what you believe, it has a power to touch you and give you th something, give you love, give you hope, give you, you know, the sense of altruism. So this is what I'm really proud of, you know, and we did is something that it comes across um, beliefs-wise and, you know, uh, it doesn't have walls. It just, it just touches you deeply in a relationship one-on-one, -on -one, like I believe. That Jesus was. People tend to ask me about why I smiled so much as, as Jesus. It was not random. It was not random at all because for me it was like they were living in oppressed times. They were living like crucifixions were like on a daily basis almost. It was not, a, it was an awful, terrible freak show. And um, so imagine people were not actually living, they were surviving. Then the next day they could be dead. So imagine a foreign coming up to the, this village or city just smiling, just smiling. It, it had to be at least magnifying. It had to be, and especially kids would be like, why is this guy that we don't know is smiling? What, what is the reason? Let's follow him. Let's follow him and hear why, what, what's the reason that he's so happy and so full of love. So that was really important for me. And, and, and that, that's all of the things that I got from you know, growing, growing up in Portugal as a Christian. I mean, I'm really proud of um, certain th scenes that are really known um, and, and we kind of twisted a little bit and gave it a splash of um, a different approach to them. I, I really love the, the, um, the scene where Peter, where, where Jesus says that Peter will deny him three times, you know, because there's this really known lines um, of Peter saying that to Jesus that he will not fall away. Je Jesus actually believes it. He actually believes in Peter, what he was saying. So there's this wonderful, human, profound, brotherly hug, you know. Uh, and, and while they're hugging, it's almost like God's whispering to Jesus here, you know what, my son, I'm sorry, but he will deny you three times before dawn. And then, so when I say those lines, you know, as Jesus, I, it's like it's not judging. It's, it's you know, Peter, I, I understand you, but this is what's going to happen and I forgive you already, you know? So it's like this full of loving thing um, that I think Jesus was, you know, spreading all the time uh, while he was here. I got from my mom, I guess, the best compliment that um, I would have, a, you know, heard. Because the thing is, uh, I was worried about her reaction, you know, seeing his son on screen, um, getting this uh, really sacrificing scenes and a physical demand, demanding scenes. So I was worried about her and um, I was not in town uh, at the moment, so I, but I called her uh, as soon as I knew that she, she saw the, the movie. And uh, the truth is, she said to me like, Diego, I had to say to you, after five minutes of seeing you on screen, I was not seeing you anymore. I, was, I, I only saw the figure of Jesus. And I was like, okay, I think I, think I mission accomplished. I mean, what I really love about the, the mustard seed uh, scene is the fact that, you know, everything starts with an intention. Everything starts with, um, with a sense, with a feeling, you know. So especially for, like I said, I, I'm getting a lot of message and, uh, uh, letters and, and a lot of messages from atheists, you know, from um, people that doesn't have like a specific belief in anything. And they're reaching out to me saying, you know what, Diego? There was something about that that touched me. There was something about that scene or that line or, the, or that, you know, the whole thing that touched me. And I, I'm still figuring out 
what to do with this, you know? That's basically the mustard seed. That's, that's, that's basically something that was plant, planted there and, and it's growing, you know? And, and, and the thing is, it's growing with and out of love, uh, you know? And it's just this feeling of, you know, as long as, as long as we keep the message of him, we will be on the right track. We will be on the right path. Uh, regardless of what it, we believe. So we don't need to put ourselves in boxes in terms of what we believe as long as we understand that the message and what, what, what we're talking about is love. And, and it is important to look you know, around us and see what, 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 what can we do to make the world better, to, to, to spread you know, love, to share that feeling of... We, you know, people ask me a lot, what changed, what, what actually changed in me after this role. I used to think, you know, I had, I truly believed that it would be needing, we would need like a group of people to actually make a change, you know, like an organization, a charity, something like, we would be needing more than one people, one person, in order to change things for the better or help out or anything. Actually, no. I. I, right now, this what I learned from this is like one person can make a difference every single day. You know, sometimes it's just a gesture, sometimes it's just a smile, some, sometimes it's just a kind word saying, "You know what? I think I never said to, I love you, man. Thank you for this and this and this, and thank you for being my friend, or thank you for being my colleague." Sometimes it's so little that can make such a huge impact on people's lives. And that was the message for me, you know, and that's what I truly believe. And I, that's why I'm really proud of this movie and kind of doing, doing that, you know, is regardless of what you believe, is bringing people's light, love, compassion. And I'm really proud, really, really proud of that. <laughs>